Hey guys, so today is Friday and I'm going to go ahead and just record a follow me around video. Um, Stella is at the babysitters today. Uh, I had planned like several weeks ago for me to go um, Christmas shopping and finish everything up for um, Christmas gifts today. And sorry, I'm just kind of cleaning up from doing Friday favorites and flops. I'm still really sick today, but I feel bad that I'm not going to be able to get up my original video that I wanted to for today. Um, I'll have to do that next week, but today is actually the two-year anniversary of my mommy makeover surgery, and honestly, I cannot believe that it ever even happened, and I really kind of want to talk through about what the last two years have been like for me, and um, you know, kind of what the surgery has changed in my life. And I really want to take my time with that video because I think if you are someone who is going to decide to do a surgery like that, it's obviously a huge, huge decision. And, um, there's a lot of things to think about and to basically, um, just figure out and make sure that you're going to be able to like be okay with <laughs> if you're going to go through with a major surgery like that. Hi, oh, buddy. Oh man, I need to take some Tylenol because, um, oh, Craig forgot to take her change of clothes. I didn't clean my house yesterday at all, you guys. I literally was just laying on the couch, like moping all day. It was the saddest, most pathetic version of myself ever. I'm getting myself a second cup of coffee because I really want one. Um, maybe I'll put some Baileys in it. Just kidding. <laughs> Tempting, but I won't. Um, I also need to eat something. I'm so, like, foggy. You know how when you are sick and you just can't really think right? I feel like that's what's like in my head right now is like I can't really like think properly which is probably it's a good thing I'm not recording any kind of video that requires <laughs> a constant <laughs> stream of thought you, you guys aren't going to get that today so um, if you don't like someone who is like scatterbrained today is not the day to watch Melanie I can tell you that anyway so I'm going to go ahead and get some food in my stomach, some more coffee, some more Tylenol, and then I'm going to put my shoes on and my big girl panties, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to conquer the freaking day, because <laughs> I have to. Like, I just, I need to just get this stuff done. So I have my list of things to get. Um... I also have a couple of candles to exchange, so I feel kind of dumb because I should have recorded this candle hell video earlier in the week, but I don't know what happened to me this week. I was just a mess. So there are some candles that I bought at the $8 candle sale that I just, I kind of grabbed because I was in a hurry and there were so many people in line and I needed to leave the store. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange the ones that I really don't want. And then I will show you guys what I got at the 850 candle sale from Bath and Body Works next week um, when I get things kind of back to normal again. So anyway, I'm going to go get my stuff ready and um, hit the road. So I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. Guys, so I just got back home from my first like half of my shopping trip for the day. I wanted to come home and have some food and have some tea and let Mr. Kong out to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to head back out again probably around 2.30 to do round two of Christmas shopping. I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what I picked up so far today. So I got my gift taken care of for my sister-in-law. Um, I got her name for Christmas. And then my niece Amina and my nieces Sydney and Grace are taken care of as well. I just had to get a couple, well, one extra thing for each of them to include with what I already have for them. 
But anyway, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what I got so far. I did have a 20% off coupon for Ulta today, so I was able to get some really good deals. And they have some really, really great stuff in store. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and see what I got. Okay, so this is Ulta here. By the way, I finally got my new tablecloth. Whoops, for the holidays. Let me pick that up. And that was Stella's mint that she didn't like. Um, I really love this. <laughs> My mother-in-law also made me a runner. I'll show you guys later. But okay. So they were giving away bathrobes with any like $40 fragrance purchase. So this is so my sister-in-law here. It's a pink leopard. These are really nice and soft. I ended up getting her a large, extra large. Just because, I mean, she's not a, she's not you know, a, a huge person. I'm mean, not to say that if you are a large or an extra large, you're a huge person. But I mean, you know what I mean? Like, she's actually pretty petite, but I figured it would be good to get her something that's just a little bit bigger. So, you know, it definitely fits her. Um, but anyway, I did like this style. So this will be part of her gift as well. I grabbed this for myself. This is really embarrassing. But I did have a bunch of Ulta points and I was able to get this for Again, 20% off, and then also I had, I think, either like 6 or $10 in Ulta Rewards points. So it is the Work Weekend Wow set from Bare Minerals. I'll show you guys this in, in another haul where I'll talk about what's in it. But, okay, the Spongibles, which I love, by the way, I will... Um, I'll try to link some of this stuff down below for you so you can check it out on the Ulta website, but... The Spongibles were buy one, get one half off. So I grabbed one for my sister-in-law and one for me because I just recently finished my last one up. So there's one for me, one for her. And then the big thing that I got her is um, a fragrance gift. And I got her this Amazing Grace set. Amazing Grace is a really beautiful, like really neutral fragrance. You guys know that I love this. I just thought this was an amazing deal for what was in here. Hang on a second. Let me open the box. So it has a really generous size of the perfume, a body wash, as well as a body cream. This was $57. And I just think this is such a beautiful set. And this is, like I said, a really great neutral fragrance. I've bought this for another sister-in-law before and she loved it. I just think that she's really, really going to like this fragrance. So I grabbed that for her. I also have a couple of other things for her already upstairs. So, um, but that finishes her off here. And I think that's everything from Ulta. Um, from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so I got this for my niece, Amina. She is, she just turned seven and she's a total girly girl. So I got her this set with the Paris Amour stuff from Bath and Body Works. It comes with a cute little makeup bag too. She's absolutely going to eat this up. Um, she's so sweet. Her and Stella are such good little friends. So that's for Amina. The body creams today at Bath and Body Works were four bucks. So I grabbed these two to finish off for my nieces, um, Sydney and Grace. So this will go in their little gift bag with them. Um, with their other gift that I picked up for them. Um, this is this is actually also part of my sister-in-law's gift. I also grabbed a candle for her. Um, the candle is already upstairs, so I got her this little beautiful pedestal holder for part of her gift as well. Um, in Craig's side of the family, we draw names, and we get one really super nice gift or like set of gifts for one person versus buying something for everybody. So um, that's really nice because honestly, it's a little bit less expensive for us to do it that way. Um, and it's just one person you have to buy for instead of literally like, oh my God, there would be so many people. Craig's family is huge. It's ridiculous. So this is a really nice way of doing it. I really like this a lot. And then the rest of what's down here is actually exchanges for... Um, the candles during the 850 candle sale that I bought that I didn't really care for once I got home. So anyway, ooh, and they gave me a good coupon. When is this one good for? December 7th through the 27th. <gasps> ooh, look here. This is good for the semi-annual sale. 
20 off of 50 that's rare okay i'm gonna hang on to this sucker but anyway i'll show you guys this as part of my 850 candle haul so anyway that's it for now i'm gonna go scarf down some food and um we'll check back in with you once i'm done with round two of shopping Okay, guys, just to round out the vlog for today. Today is really kind of a random one. Um, I'll be honest. I'm sorry. This is a little bit of a cop-out in terms of a vlog. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd show you what I picked up at TJ Maxx. Um, I found a couple things for Stella and then for a few other people as well. So Stella loves Hello Kitty, and they have these really cute Hello Kitty slippers, so these are going to be part of her Christmas gift. Stella loves hair accessories, and I just thought these screamed her. They've got some glitter headbands in here, and then also this really cute flower one, so um, I'm going to stick these in her stocking. Um, there was four of them for like five bucks. Is there four in here? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I just thought these were kind of cute, and she'll be into those. I found a really nice watch for my dad. Um, there was one year, I think it was about like six years ago that I got everybody in my family really nice watches. And so it's been a few years since I have purchased a watch for my dad. This is from Fossil. He does like the Fossil watches. It has a really nice black leather band. And it was 60 bucks. And I think it was originally like uh, 80 so, I don't know, he's really going to like wearing this to work, I think. It'll be a good work watch for him, and um, the leather band is really nice on these. So, I really do like the fossil watches. So, I grabbed that for my dad. Um, I got the Nirvana White Perfume gift set from Sephora for my mom. And then I also have some candle stuff for my mom as well. But my dad's a pretty simple dude, <laughs> so... He, I think he's really going to like this. So grab that for him. I found these really cute gift bags that sort of match the wrapping paper that I have this year. Um, the wrapping paper that I have is this more like, um, it's almost like a brown paper bag material. And this is the same like type of feel. So I got this for a few of the gifts. I found a really nice shirt for my nephew, uh, Gunner. And it's just like a skater boy shirt with a hood. So that's for him. I found something for my nephew Axel as well. He is the newest baby in the family. And um, so I found this really cute onesie for him that I just fell in love with <coughs> from Carter's. I honestly miss Stella being and stuff like this but um anyway i got it in nine months because he's growing pretty fast um he's only about well he was born in august so august september october november december he'll be five months here but he'll fit in this by february at the latest and it's still pretty cold here in february so it's nice and cozy i also found this his parents are huge soccer fans so i got him a timbers shirt so that he can root the timbers along with his parents. <laughs> and then I got this for Stella from the Elf. Um, I haven't been posting pictures on Instagram of Jingle Butt's adventures because Jingle Butt has been taking a little bit of a hiatus because Stella hasn't been behaving herself. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but I'm trying like all sorts of things to like convince Stella that, you know, she needs to like you know, step up her game a little bit with Christmas coming up because Santa Claus is watching her and she's just like, yeah, I don't care. Um, but I do get her Christmas pajamas every year. And so I found these. I just thought these were too cute to pass up. And I thought Jingle Butt could deliver them to her in some cute way. So it's just actually a little dress with the elf like on the dress, on the like pajamas. So anyway, I just thought it was cute. So that's for Stella too. Anyway, so I'll wrap those up and Jingle Bud can deliver them to her. But that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on one, hiding Stella stuff, and two, wrapping the stuff that I can wrap now. And um, yeah, so that's it for the vlog today, you guys. Hey, you want to say hi on behalf of Stella since she's not here today? <laughs> He's been like, where have you been all day, lady? <laughs> 
The kid's gone. We should have been snuggling on the couch, huh? Yeah, I know, buddy. We'll have some snuggle time here in a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and light up my Christmas tree, light up my little mantelpiece here, and sit on the ground right there and wrap my gifts. So thank you guys so much for watching today and putting up with my uh, hot mess express self here because I'm pretty disgusting today. <laughs> Hopefully I will be um, back to normal next week. Thank you guys so much and have a great weekend. Say bye-bye, Mr. Kong. Say bye-bye. Can you roll over? Roll over. Roll over. Good job. Can you speak? Speak. Speak. Roll over. Oh, look at the tricks. That's it. That's all he does. He knows how to sit. Can you sit? Sit. Nope. Nope. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week.